Well, it first started with clothes, then onto cosmetics, and now it's spreading to food products. An increasing number of consumers overseas are buying Korean goods online. Our Shin Se-min reports on this trend. November 11th is celebrated as Pepero Day in Korea, as the Pepero snack resembles the ones in the date. Used as a marketing tool by the manufacturer Lotte Confectionery, the sales of the Pepero sticks fly off the shelves once early November rolls around each year, and the popularity has expanded to other countries. According to online retail shopping mall G Market, sales of Pepero have topped the list of processed food products over the past month in its global shop. But the growth expands far beyond Pepero. Last month, the total sales of Korean processed food surged over 160 percent on month. The G Market Global Shop, which reported a 57 percent sales jump in the first 10 months of this year, offers food items ranging from chocolate and instant noodles to seasoned labor, red chili paste, and even fermented seafood. I regularly purchase salt fermented seafood online. It was a little difficult to get my hands on it, but now it only takes three to five days to get when I buy it online. Online retail shopping malls are boosting services to accelerate the market. Maltail, a direct purchasing website, recently partnered up with the Korea Postal Service, making shipping easier for a number of products, even fresh produce. Considering that the majority of the shopping exports are being made to China and the level of their spending on Korean products, whether it be cosmetics or pepero, the sales will most likely surge. If their interest in Korean food products continues, it will definitely influence Korea's food industry. And since Korea and China have concluded FTA negotiations on a deal that will remove tariffs on most products, more Chinese customers are expected to log into Korean online retailers to fill up their shopping carts. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.